In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom game icons and thumbnails for your game quickly, easily, and for free. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is you simply want to join your game. And once you're in your game, you want to go into your settings and you want to adjust your graphics. Preferably, you want the highest possible graphics setting, but if it's too laggy or the image quality becomes too low, you can also always lower it. I'm going to leave my graphics setting at about 4 for now. Once you've properly set all your graphics settings and you're ready to go, you want to press Shift and P on your keyboard at the same time. Doing this will enable free cam mode, which will allow you to fly around and zoom in and zoom out. And this is going to be a great tool to help us get a good angle for our shot. Free cam mode will only work if you have edit access to whatever game you're in. So like, for example, if you join Jailbreak and you don't have edit access to Jailbreak, then doing this will not enable free cam mode. You need Roblox Studio access, edit access to be able to enter free cam mode by pressing shift and P. All right, so I've set up my positioning, my angle. Um, I think this is a pretty good angle for a screenshot. So I'm just going to screenshot this. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to press Windows, shift and S and that will screenshot this for me. I'm just going to capture this entire screen, and there we go. All right, so once you have your screenshot, you're going to want to head over to Photopia. Um, basically, what this is, it's an online ripoff Photoshop, um, but it's free, and it has most of the functionalities that the real Photoshop does, so it's a pretty good alternative. So once you're on the website, you're going to want to press New Project, and then you're going to be prompted to put in an aspect ratio for the design you're creating. Um, if you're creating a thumbnail, you're going to want to put 1920 by 1080 pixels. And if you're creating an icon, you're going to want to do 512 by 512 pixels. I think for this tutorial, I'm going to create an icon. So I'm going to put in 512 by 512 pixels, and I'm going to press create. Once you're in your project, all you want to do is just paste in your screenshot from earlier, and then you're going to want to scale it a bit. So in order to scale it, you're going to want to press um, over here, the selection tool. And then you want to make sure that transform controls up on the top is checked. And uh, if it's not checked, you won't have the option to scale. You'll just have the option to move it. So just make sure that's checked. And then I'm going to scale it down just a little bit, just like this. And I'm going to crop it just right so the Roblox logo isn't in it, but that it has um, all the central features. All right, so after a little bit of messing around, this is what I came up with. Um, I think this is a little bit nicely cropped. It leaves the house as a uh, central feature. There's a tree that's visible, part of the obby. So I think this is overall just really nice. So once you have your screenshot properly added in like this, what you want to do is you want to add in some text. Um, in order to add in text, you go over to the left side over here, press the text box button, the text symbol, and then you want to move over to your design and just press anywhere in it, and it will insert a text box wherever you press. And then if you start typing, you'll be able to add text. So I'll just write text. Um, and you can customize this text in a lot of different ways. Up on the top over here, you'll have different options like changing font. My current font is Familiar Pro. You can bold it, change the actual size of the text itself, text color, most of the basic stuff. And then if you go over here to the right side and you right click on the text label um, and you press blending options, you'll have a lot more options. Um, like over here, you can add text strokes, so you can add like a little bit of an outline. And then there's also subgroups or like subcategories inside of each of these. If you click on the actual letter name of each of these things, like for example, if I press on stroke, I'll have the option to change the stroke size. So I'll put it to two. So that gives this text a little bit of a nice outline. So it looks a little bit more professional. It's a little bit more visible against the sky. All right, so after a little bit of messing around, I've managed to add some text and I think it looks quite nice, but there's definitely a few other touches that we have to make for this to look decent. All right, so I did a bit of messing around and I think that it honestly looks the best like this with the text in red on the bottom and the obby butt being in white at the top. And now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to blur the image in the back. And um, it depends on what your background image is, but I think sometimes this can look good. What you got to do to do this is you want to select your image and then you want to go up here to filter. And then there's a lot of different things you can do. Actually, you can sharpen it, pixelate it, whatever. Um, but I'm going to blur it. I'm going to press blur and then there will be a lot of different blur options. I'm going to select Gaussian blur and I'm going to set this to about maybe three no maybe like 2.3 i think looks good so yeah i think this looks pretty nice and now as a final touch what i did is i went ahead and i put in this noob png and i gave it a bit of an outline a bit of a shadow 
So obviously you could add relevant images uh, into your icon or thumbnail as well, and I think it could complement it and make it look pretty nice. So anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, this stuff was pretty surface level. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how to do this stuff, um, how to use some of the more advanced functionalities of Photopia, definitely let me know uh, in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, for more videos.